In this video, we will talk about the multiplication principle. So I want to motivate this with a question. So the question says, if we look back at example one from a previous video of this section, so let me just flip it back to that. So example one was this question involving LeBron James taking three free throws and we had to draw, and we drew this tree diagram to describe the outcomes of the experiment and then write out the sample space. And we saw here that there were eight elements in this sample space. There were eight outcomes. So flipping it back to the question, the question is, is there a quicker way to count the number of outcomes than using a tree diagram? And the answer is yes, there is. And the key thing that I want to note to observe how we're going to do this is if we want to count the total number of outcomes here, I'm going to make an observation. What we essentially end up doing is we consider each of the free throws individually. So I can think about the number of outcomes first in free throw one. In free throw one, how many outcomes are there for free throw one? Well, there are two outcomes for free throw one. Either he makes it or he misses it. And then we multiply that by the number of outcomes in free throw two. And in free throw two, again, there were two outcomes because either he makes it or he misses it. And then you multiply that again by the number of outcomes in free throw three. So in free throw three, again, there's two outcomes because he could make it or miss it. And two times two times two. Well, that's eight. That's the same value we got when we just counted it after drawing our, our tree diagram. So the reason why this comes out to be just multiplication on a more conceptual level is if I think about the tree diagram at each step, like going from the first free throw to the second free throw, each of the outcomes gets split up into the same number of branches. Like the Y here gets split up into two branches, one going to a Y, one going to an N. Similarly, this N gets split into two branches, one going to a Y, one going to an N. And because at each step, the number of branches that each outcome is split into is the same that gives us this multiplication happening. If we compare that to this other example we did in the last video involving Mendocino and Santa Cruz, there was a step going from location to activity where the number of branches was different depending on the outcome. Like from the M, there were two branches going to H and P. But from S, there were three branches. So this wouldn't be a simple multiplication here. In fact, if we tried to multiply something like two for two locations by three, because there's three total um, activities, we would get two times three is six but we actually have one, two, three, four, five outcomes. Alrighty, so that was a bit of a digression there, but it's an important question because I, I'm trying to motivate uh, a general principle here. So we are ready to state that. And it's, it's what we're gonna call the multiplication principle. And it says that, suppose we have an experiment with K stages or K steps with n1, so n1 is just going to be some number, n1 outcomes for stage 1. Whatever the first step in the experiment is, n1 represents how many outcomes for it that we have. So maybe n1 is like 3 if there's 3 outcomes in stage 1, or it's 2 if there's 2 outcomes for stage 1. Similarly, for stage 2, I'm going to say that there are n2 outcomes. For stage 3, I'm going to say that there are n3 outcomes. And one important thing that I'm going to add to this is, so when I say N2 outcomes for stage two, I need there to be this many regardless of the previous stage. So I don't want the outcome that happens in stage one to dictate how many possible outcomes there are now going to be in stage two. And then similarly in stage three, I need this to be true regardless of now 
the two previous stages. I'm just going to abbreviate previous, previous uh, stages. And we'd keep going like this until we reach stage number k, uh, which I'm going to say that there's n k, n subscript k outcomes. Okay. So then the overall experiment has, I'm going to count how many outcomes it has, and the way we do that is we just multiply these numbers. n1 times n2 times n3 times dot dot dot. We keep going until we reach how many outcomes the last stage or step has, n subscript k. Total outcomes. Okay, and I'm going to highlight this. This is a, an important formula for this section. All right, so let's, let's use this formula on a more interesting example. So this example says that at an ice cream store, you can choose among four sizes, mini, small, medium, and large, one of nine flavors, and one of seven toppings. How many ice cream selections are possible? Okay, so by selection, I mean like the whole combination, size, flavor, and topping. So we want to know the number of ice cream selections. And to determine that, we first need to know, I'm going to put a little blank here, the number of, let's say we worry about sizes first, number of size choices. So how many choices are there? Well, there's four choices for the size. And then we have the next stage. At the next stage, we're going to pick a flavor. So now we need to count the number of possible flavor outcomes, the number of flavor choices. And there are nine choices for flavors. And notice I'm starting the multiplication principle here. And then finally for the last stage, I'm going to pick a topping. And in the topping, I need to count the number of topping outcomes or the number of topping choices. And the question says that there are seven uh, possibilities for the topping. So seven choices for the topping. And notice that if I think about these sequentially, regardless of what we pick for the size, we are going to have nine choices for, for flavor. And regardless of what we pick for the size and for the flavor, we're still going to have seven choices for the topping. And that's the condition that we needed for the multiplication principle. So multiplying these numbers, 4 times 9 times 7, we get 252. In total, there are 252 selections. And that's our answer.